A task of particular importance for those promoted will be ensuring that you are not defined by the new ranks and the formal leadership positions alone, but by demonstrated leadership in thinking, in word and in deed, and in your convictions to do the right thing for our population. As senior officers, the junior officers will also look to you for leadership. I say to all of us, let us aspire to this leadership persona out of a deep sense of duty and humility. The UPF management is consistent in its demand for highly trained and professional officers who exhibit courage with compassion, care, and exceptional understanding of the population itself. This therefore demands constant work that involves, among others, one, improving the quality of police-related services we offer to the public. Two, engaging the community through locally tailored community policing programs aimed at building stronger trust between police and the population. And three, digitalizing and integrating crime records for the purposes of easy detection, reporting, and tracking. Therefore, as you assume the new ranks of leadership, you will shoulder the responsibility of continuing this effort to seek ways to innovate, to keep the UPF on the curve, and keep Ugandans secure. What type of technology is security using today? And what are our people surrounding us using? The armed forces in Uganda, what kind of te technology are you using? Is it commensurate, as Mr. Mito says, to other forces, like in China, like in America? America has about 1.4 million soldiers. China has the, the largest force in the whole world, about 4.8 million people, I mean uh, armed people. But because of the technology they have, they are able to coordinate and manage the, high, the large population of China of 1.3 billion people using technology which is very sophisticated and reliable to keep security of the country and the people. Think about the discipline, think about the patience. And once you embrace the two, you find yourself committed to the safety and the security of the people and their properties. So those three elements are so good in that they build you and make you the person who is respectable day and night. When you look at the kind of provocation you go through, especially the politically motivated uh, incidences, I see there is a lot of patience and discipline. Otherwise, we would be having a barrier after barrier. from Makara University, that was 2001. We have a bachelor's in engineering. Our chief visitor, after this course is done, we can take a report of intelligence in Nairobi, Kenya. Is our current high office really easy? We charge you for the testing center. Because it is him who gives us power to become that. But God only wants us always to recognize that is, it is him who has done that. Honor him and be like a David, your promotion will always be there. God bless you. I remain Pastor Willie Tumine, Holy Spirit for Church. Mm -hmm. Lord Mayor and other invited guests. I'm a senior superintendent of police, post of 148. Inspector of Police to Assistance, Lieutenant of Police 170. Inspector of Police to 
assistance portals of police got four. And the procedure will be our bagore. The procedure will be I have read your name. The regional police commander, we don't fear him, we just respect him. Yes.